What's Gucci everybody, it's AJ here again, and today I want to talk about binary tree operations. Now, a basic binary tree has three basic operations. It has the find method, it has a find method, where simply it finds a node. You want to find x, it has a um, add x, and it has a delete, which is a little bit more complicated. Deletion is always the most complicated method in the tree, you can almost bet on it. So right here I drew a binary tree again. A binary search tree has order in it. And basically a binary what I do is that every child to the left is less than the parent, every child to the right of the parent is greater than the parent. So every every node could have childs of zero, one, or two nodes. And that's why it's binary, binary meaning two. So First of all, I'm going to go through the find algorithm. The find algorithm works pretty well. All these algorithms start at the tree and simply um, move down. So find, what it does is it looks at, it starts at the root and goes, hey, let's, um, is the element I'm finding less than or equal to 50? And then depending, if it's less than, it goes left. And if it's right, it goes right. But let me just show you guys a quick example. And then this would recursively happen or keep on going on the new node that it's now at until it found the node or didn't find it at all or hit an all node. So let's say I I'm going to find 62. And what I do is I start at 50. I say 62 greater than 50. Yes, it is. So I go to 75. Is 62 less than 75? Yes, it is. So I go to the left because the left node is less than. And now I go to 55 and I say is 62 less than 55? No, it's not. It's greater than. So I go to 62. I check. I see, hey, is, is this node 62? I say yes. So I know I have found a node with the value 62. I can return true. Also, if the node was not in the tree and I hit a null node, like let's say I was searching for 63, so I should know I should know 62 is less than 63, so there should be some node here to go to. If there was a null node, then I know it is not found in the tree. Now for add, add works pretty easily too. I need to find where I'm going to add it in the tree, and then depending on that, I'll, and then just simply create a new node and, and add it and chain it with the tree. So let's say I want to add two to my tree. So I again kind of do find, but once I find, I find the node, find where I can add it, and then I add it. So I want to add two, and what I do with two is. I look at 50 again, I start at the root, I say is 2 less than 50? Yes it is. And at 25, is 2 less than 25? Yes it is. And then I get to 1. Is 2 greater than 1? Um, yes it is. Do, do I have anywhere to go from here? No I do not. I do not have anywhere to go. So this is where I hit a null, so this is where I can put my new node. So when I, do, I want to create a new node and make it the right child of the node I just found of where I got stopped, which is at 1. So that's how I add it to. And I might add that if you know about Big O, you can watch my video on it. Both of these operations are log in time, or on average log in time. I'm just going to delete that. And now we're going to go to the delete method. Now the delete method has um, a few cases. One, if I find a node, if the node I want to delete has no children, um, that's great. I simply delete it. So let's say I want to delete 100. All I do is I find it. I say delete 100. Is 100 greater than 50? Yes, it is. I'm at 75. Is 100 greater than 75? 100. Boom, I found 100. 100 has no children, so simply I can delete it. I put it back there, but yes, it's because it has no children and that will not affect, affect anything. So if the node has no children, you simply delete it. Now, the next step, now the next... Oh, Sorry, I'm back here, guys, and basically I was just checking that I'm recording, and now what I want to do is I want to go through the second case, and now the second case is what if the child has what has um one has one child? Well, it's pretty easy too. The second case is pretty easy. So what I do is I find that node, I can delete it, and then I take its children and connect it with the previous parent. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say I want to delete one. Let's say I want to delete 25. So I'm going to delete 25. I look I look for 25 starting at the root. 25 is less than 50. And I go to the left node, and lo and behold, I'm at node 25. So what I do is I delete that, is I delete that node, 
and then I, but before I delete that node, I get its child and I say, hey, the child, I delete the connections and I say, oh, hey, the child of 25 is now connected with the parent. And then I delete these two links and then I, de and then I can finally de delete the node so that, so that right links to each node are going together and that I don't leave, for instance, a node off that's pointing to a null. Um, yeah, and this is, again, this is two ways. I should make that clear. So, yeah, that's important to understand. Let me, I'm just going to go back because I want to reset my tree here. And... Yeah, so, again, if you delete, if you delete, it, if you delete a node with one child, you just want to connect the child and the parent of the node you're deleting together. So that would be these two nodes, this one and this one. Okay, and now the final case for deleting, which confuses the most people, is if you delete a node that has two children. Now let's say, in this example, I want to delete 55, which has two children. But what I want to do here is I want to find the next sequential node to delete when I delete something that when I delete a node that has two children, when I delete so something such as 55 or 50, when I find I'm gonna find this node or see if it's there, and if I find it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the next sequential node. If I were to order order the the binary tree, which in this case would be 62, I could find the next sequential node or the next sequential node before it. So for instance, I could find 51 and 62. And what I want to do is I want to replace that node. I want to replace that, that node I just found, the next sequential node, or the next sequential before node with 55. And then once I do that, I want to delete the node. I want to delete the node I just, I just swapped. So let me show you guys the example of deleting 55. So what I want to do here is I want to delete 55. So I go, I start at the root. Is 55 greater than 50? Yes, it is. So I go to 75. Is, is 55 less than 75? Yes, it is. So now I'm here. And lo and behold, I check if the node's there and I found the node. So what I do here is I can either find the next, the next greatest node, or I can find the, um, the next, the next smallest node. So for instance, let me show you guys the algorithm to find the next smallest node or the next biggest node always. So I'm going to make another node here and we're going to call it 60. And I'm going to make another node here and we're going to call it 53. By the rules of the binary tree, let's say I made this, let's say I made another node and I'm going to call it, I know it's going to be, sorry, it's going to be another right node, but it's going to be 57. And but, but the next node in sequential order will always be if you go right once and then left as much as you can possibly in the tree. So, for instance, the next by the next node of 55 in sequential order would be 57. So I go right once, just right once, and then left as much as I can, not deviating, only going left. And then I'll if once I can't go left anymore, I know one thing: I've hit a node that only has a child, a, a child of only has one child because I can't go left anymore so I know it only could have possibly have a right child such as 59 and I do that and so what I can do now is I can swap the nodes I can swap 55 with 57 so I can swap it with 57 so now essentially I've gotten rid of 55 but still kept the order of the tree and what I do is I delete 57 and if I need to, if 57 has one child, which will only have zero one children, I connect its parent with its child, like I showed you in the two. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. So this, the same rule would apply if, if I wanted to get the next lowest node. So for instance, 53, I would replace 53 with 55 which used to be there 55 right here and then I would delete I would delete this node getting so there wouldn't be so I wouldn't duplicate 53 and they're all and 53 had no child so that's the easier example 
So I hope you guys understood the add, delete, find. They will all log in, which is nice. That's why a binary tree is so efficient, and people try to make self-balancing trees to make them even better and more efficient on average time and not deteriorate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Watch the other tutorials if you can, and if I ever find time, I'm going to post some data structures on GitHub. Have a great day.